Welcome to Eduno's practical session of focal length of a concave mirror. In this session, we will determine the focal length of a concave mirror by distant object method and UV method. Before going to the experiment, let us go through the terminology associated with the concave mirror using a ray diagram. Consider a concave mirror. As you can see, this is the reflecting surface. As you turn around the mirror, you can see the non-reflecting surface. In the side view, to differentiate the reflecting and the non-reflecting surface, we denote the non-reflecting surface with the lines drawn on the surface. The curve line M, M dash, that is the diameter of the circular rim of the mirror is called the aperture. It is the part of the mirror through which light rays enter. The center of the spherical surface of the mirror is called the pole of the mirror. It is denoted by P. The concave mirror is a part of the spherical shell. The center of the spherical shell is called the center of curvature. It is denoted by C. When you join the center of curvature C and the pole P, the straight line is called the principal axis. If the incident rays on the mirror are parallel to the principal axis, then after reflection, they meet at a point on the principal axis. This point is known as principal focus and it is denoted by capital F. The distance between the pole P and the center of curvature C is called the radius of curvature PC. It is denoted by capital R. The distance between the pole P and the principal focus F is called focal length of the mirror PF. It is denoted by small f. Hope you got a clear picture about the terminology associated with the concave mirror. Now, let us go through the aim and apparatus required to perform this experiment. Aim to determine the focal length of a concave mirror by distant object method, UV method, apparatus, concave mirror, meter scale, illuminated cross wires, screen and a V-stand. Now, let me take you through the step-by-step -step procedure to perform the experiment. First, we determine the focal length by distant object method. Take a concave mirror and place this mirror on a V-stand. Now, adjust the position of the V-stand in such a way that the reflecting surface of the mirror facing towards a distant object. Then, take a screen and place the screen in front of the mirror to obtain the image of the distant object. Now, we adjust the positions of the concave mirror and the screen in such a way that we obtain a sharp image of the distant object on the screen. So, let us adjust the positions. Here, you can clearly see that a sharp image of the distant object is obtained on the screen. Now, we measure the distance from the pole of the mirror to the screen. This distance gives us the focal length of the concave mirror. So, let us measure the distance. Here, the distance is 15.3 centimeters. Therefore, 
the focal length of the concave mirror by distant object method is 15.3 cm now we determine the focal length of the concave mirror by uv method here the illuminated cross wires behaves as an object here now we adjust the position of the concave mirror in such a way that the reflecting surface of the concave mirror facing towards the object then we place the screen in front of the concave mirror to obtain the image of the object after that we adjust the positions of the concave mirror and the screen in such a way that a sharp image of the object is obtained on the screen so let us adjust the positions of mirror and the screen here you can clearly see that a sharp image of the object is obtained on the screen now we measure the distance from the pole of the mirror to the object and from the pole of the mirror to the image so let us measure the distances here the object is at a distance of 46.2 cm note it as u then image is at a distance of 23.3 cm note this value as v now knowing the values of u and v we can calculate the focal length of the concave mirror using the formula f is equal to uv by u plus v for more observations we repeat the same procedure for different values of u and v and we note down these values in the observation table For object distance u, 46.2 cm, the value of 1 by u is 0.021. The image distance v is 23.3 cm. The value of 1 by v is 0.042, and its corresponding focal length is 15.48 cm. Similarly, the readings for different values of u are. average value of f is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus f5 plus f6 divided by 6 that is equal to 15.48 cm therefore the focal length of the concave mirror by uv method f is 15.48 cm and the focal length of the concave mirror by distant object method is 15.3 cm using the values of u and v we plot u versus v graph and 1 by u versus 1 by v graph and then we calculate focal length from this graph now we plot a uv graph by considering the value of u on x axis and the value of v on y axis The graph comes out to be a rectangular hyperbola, a line drawn at an angle 45 degrees to both x and y axis meets the rectangular hyperbola at A, AC and AB 
or perpendiculars drawn on to both axes the values of ab and ac are same each being equal to 2f therefore f is equal to ob plus oc by 4 that is 32 plus 32 by 4 which is 64 divided by 4 which gives you f is equal to 16 cm focal length of the concave mirror from u versus v graph is equal to 16 cm now we plot another graph that is 1 by u versus 1 by v by considering 1 by u on x axis and 1 by v on y axis the graph comes out to be a straight line cutting the axis at a and b therefore f is equal to 2 divided by oa plus ob which is 2 divided by 0.066 plus 0.061 which gives you f is equal to 15.74 cm therefore focal length of the concave mirror from 1 by u versus 1 by v graph is 15.74 cm precautions the object and image distance are measured without any parallax error the object and the screen should be placed symmetrically on either side of the axis the observations must be taken with u greater than v and vice versa so that the complete shape of the curve may be obtained the center of the crosswire the pole of the mirror and the center of the screen should lie at the same height above the table now you are able to determine focal length of any given concave mirror by distant object method and uv method on your own without any doubt or hesitation thank you for watching this video